When you think of a potential enlisted campaign, we think of important battles, like that of Stalingrad, Kursk, Normandy, Berlin, and just to name a few. We never think about a campaign literally behind enemy lines. No, this campaign isn't going to have mass battles, no, it's not going to have massive tank battles, this campaign is going to be, in some people's eyes, not that fun. But, this campaign is going to be 10 times more brutal, and actually very very fun, than an actual battlefield like Kursk. Because today, we're going to be doing a video of a potential partisan campaign in the Balkans, and why it is such a great idea. My name is The Blowing Total, and today let's talk about the Yugoslav partisan campaign. But before we start, I would like to say that this video has been only made possible through the friends at Discord, meaning that if you haven't liked, subscribed, or joined the Discord, I highly suggest that you like, subscribe, and join the Discord. But with that out of the way, let's get started. Before we start with why I believe a partisan campaign is such a good idea, let's start with some facts. When Germany invaded a Yugoslavia on April the 6th, 1941, the Yugoslav army was able to hold for only 11 days. That said, the second that Germany invaded Yugoslavia, partisans took up armors against the invaders. For some quick facts, the Yugoslav partisans were the only ones to wage a successful war of attrition behind enemy lines against Germany from 1941 to 1945 on a massive scale. They were the, also the only ones to capture a significant piece of land back from the Germans in 1941. They were also the first and only group of partisans that held up hundreds and thousands of Axis troops in the Second World War, a feat that even the French resistance didn't even c come close to doing. With that said and all of the history out of the way, let's talk about why adding a partisan campaign in the Balkans is such a great idea. For starters, it is cool to see a guerrilla warfare style campaign. Hopefully Enlisted will give us a game mode that favors a guerrilla war such as rooting out partisan bases, attacking or reacting to hit and run assaults. Honestly, in terms of game modes, Enlisted has an imagination to use. Remember, it's not a conventional war, meaning that you can see a wide range of missions not only limited to, to the traditional invasion, demolition, conquest, and now with the new tug of war. Secondly, I would like to see a lot of diversity. The reason is that the more factions in Enlisted, the better. The Balkans is known for having a lot of different peoples, like just on the Axis side alone we have Germans, Italians, Hungarians, Bulgarians, Romanians, Croatians, and that's not even naming the few. Honestly this campaign should focus less on Germany because like we already played so many Germany that it's not even fun. Most notably Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Italy, and Croatia should be quote unquote always a supplement for Germany. And it is actually historically correct considering the fact that German troops were most needed on the Eastern Front. For the Allies, it is probably even more diverse with different ethnicities, different factions all along the lines. I could literally go on hours talking about the different factions, quote unquote factions, within the Allies. But just to keep it simple, we have the Royal Yugoslav Army and Tito's Army, which is basically the Communists. They're just going to be fighting against each other, fighting against the Nazis, all doing all these wonderful stuff that it just really makes the entire situation in Yugoslavia a disaster, or a place on hell. But that said, with all that diversity, I would also like to add something that is not really represented in games, and that is civilians. Now, before you guys scream war crimes again like the one night, like you did in Stalingrad, I would like to see them actually being represented in Enlisted. As of right now, no game has actually represented civilians because... Well, it's a first-person shooter game. What are you gonna do? Shoot civilians? Um, that's a that's against the that's against the Geneva Convention. Um, but that said, en enlisted should really actually implement civilians because thinking about it, civilians are what partisan wars is all about. You can literally have different factions fighting against each other, and you have civilians mix in. Obviously, these civilians are just trying to run, but just even having civilians like AI trying to run around is actually not a bad idea. That said. As far as I know, having civilians in a war zone is actually a war crime, and that said, that is actually how real it gets for enlisted. With that all said, I'm pretty interested to see a Yugoslavian partisan campaign, not only for the partisan experience, but a whole new set of units, civilians in a war zone, and just a whole new experience in behind enemy lines and gunning and raiding and looting and pillaging and yeah, just the list just goes on. Um, that's it, I believe we are at the end of this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one. Now before you leave, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. I would be honored if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, more videos are coming out, so it is a good idea to click on that notification button. Anyways, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.